thing would heal a bit sooner, that's all. Give it time. You're doing great. Yeah, I know. I just sometimes I feel like a bit of a freak. Mm. Is that why you put that on your head the minute you saw me coming down the stairs? You have nothing to be ashamed of. And your hair will grow back to normal very soon. Come on. Where are you going? Candice, says I told you. Still? After what happened with your gran? Well, the physio said I need to exercise. Yeah, of course you have. Mum, it'll be all right. I was freaked out by it as well, but it's not like my gran's proper dangerous or anything, is it? I mean, she was a bit manic. It's not like she's a real kidnapper. That's like saying that Richard is trying to kill her. Well, it's not as ridiculous as all that. I mean, she did try to get you in the car. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. She didn't want to hurt us. It was just weird. Well, you've got to go out sooner or later. What if she tries it again? Well, maybe we should tell the police. Tell them, you know, what she did. Oh, police are never away from this house these days. Uh, you go. What about my mum? Oh, I'll look after her. Don't worry about her. Come on, you. Wait. Be back by four. OK, I will be. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Bye. Not the police. Please. No, 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 if you don't want to. It's just, it's so final. I feel there'll be no going back. Listen, I, I know it sounds brutal, but it's like with my mother. Once these illnesses start, there is no going back. 